cruise line drink packages, specifically Disney Cruise Lines. And well, honestly, Disney Cruise Lines, they do it just a little bit differently. Chris here with High Seas Cruising and welcome to today's video. And we are back to talk once again about cruise lines and drink packages. What's available, how much do they cost, and are they worth getting? And today we're going to be talking about Disney Cruise Lines and what drink options they have available. Because when it comes to Disney, honestly, they do not do drink packages the way the other cruise lines do it. You're not going to find a package that includes alcohol on board the ship. You're not going to find a soda package on board Disney Cruise Lines. Like I said, they do things a whole lot differently. One of the things they do differently is they actually include a lot more beverages with your cruise fare. You know, normally with cruise lines, you get some water, non-bottled water, you get a couple juices, some milk, and some tea and coffee. That's normally all that's included with your cruise fare and everything else you have to pay for, whether it's with a drink package or individually. Well, Disney includes a lot more in their cruise fare. So Coca-Cola, Diet Coke, Coke Zero, Water, High C Fruit Punch, High C Pink Lemonade, Fuse Iced Tea, Sprite, Sprite Zero, Coffee, Hot Chocolate, and Assorted Teas. Now these are all included in your Disney Cruise Fair. So you don't have to pay anything extra for any of these beverages. Now there are a couple of little things you need to be aware of when using the free beverages on board a Disney cruise ship. So the beverage station is going to be up on the Lido deck or up on the pool deck. You simply go up there, get a cup, and whatever beverage you want to go along with. But something to remember too, the cups up there are very, very small. So if you are going on a Disney cruise, I highly recommend that you take your own cup with you. You can use them right there at the drink station and having your own cup will stop you from having to go up there multiple times because like I said, the ones that they have are pretty small. Now you can also get these beverages in the dining rooms. Simply let your server know which one you want. They're gonna provide it for you and believe it or not, they will learn what you want to drink and have it at the table for you each night that you go to dinner. However, if you go up to any of the bars on board the ship and try to order one of these drinks, they will charge you for it. So you only want to get it from the beverage station up on the pool deck or order it in one of the dining rooms. That way you don't pay anything extra. Now Disney Cruise Lines also allows you to bring beverages on board the ship and they have one of the most lenient policies when it comes to bringing beverages on board the ship. All right, so Disney Cruise Line guests, 21 years and older, may bring a maximum of two bottles of unopened wine or champagne no larger than 750 milliliters or six beers no larger than 12 ounces on board at the beginning of the voyage and at each port of call so disney cruise lines is one of the only ones that allows you to bring essentially a six pack of beer on the ship and not only can you bring them on at embarkation day you can bring them on every time you go into a port so you could bring a six pack on or you know a two bottles of wine or champagne on embarkation day you go to your first port stop you can do it again a second port stop you can do it again so it's not just on embarkation day now you can also bring on water and you can also bring on your own soda if you want to do so you know particularly if you don't like coke products you prefer pepsi products or a different type of soda for even energy drinks you can bring those on board the ship with you but remember all of this has to be in your carry-on luggage so that's, you know, always something to remember that you have to carry this stuff. So kind of be mindful of how much you want to bring on because you may have to carry it for a little bit until your room is ready. Now, like I mentioned, Disney doesn't really offer any type of drink packages, none that are comparable to what other cruise lines do. So you won't see anything similar like you would on Carnival, Royal Caribbean, Norwegian. They don't have those types of drink packages, but they do have a couple of options. All right, so Disney does offer the classic wine package where you can get three bottles of classic wine for $95, four bottles for $124, five bottles for $149 or a seven bottle wine package for $199. They also have a premium wine package. Same thing, three bottles of premium wine for $145, four bottles of premium wine for $192, five bottles for $234, 
and seven bottles of premium wine for $309. So if you're a big fan of wine, like to drink a lot of wine when you're on a cruise, this does give you some options to purchase wine at a discounted price. Now you also have the option of the Disney Cruise Beer Mug. Now this is where you pay $16.95 for a 22 ounce glass when the standard size of a beer is 16 ounces. So each time you get a draft beer, you, you'll get 22 ounces, but only pay for 16 ounces. So each time you are getting an additional six ounces for the same price. So for beer lovers, this is another option. Now you don't even have to carry this mug around with you during the entire cruise. So you can go up to the bar, order the mug, and if you don't want to say carry it around the entire cruise, they'll give you a token instead of the glass. Next time you go up to the bar, you show them the token, they'll give you another glass. And then at the end of the cruise, they'll give you a clean glass to take home as a souvenir because the glass is yours to keep. Now for those cruisers that enjoy their cocktails, mixed drinks at the bar, Disney Cruise Lines does have a drink of the day. Nice thing about the drink of the day is they are discounted from regular prices you can get a drink of the day from usually around $6.25 plus the gratuities. The drink of the day changes each day. So while not a drink package, it is a discounted drink you can get daily instead of paying the, you know, the normal $10 to $12 for a drink at the bar. You also have the option to pre-purchase bottled water to have in your stateroom during your cruise. Now a six pack of bottled water is $9.75 and a 24 pack is $39 on all Disney ships. It does not include the tax and the gratuity. And this could be an option if you want bottled water and you do not want to carry it on the ship. But if you prefer drinking bottled water and you're willing to carry it on the ship, you can carry it on the ship and not have to pay the higher prices of purchasing it on the ship. But if you don't want to carry it on, this is also an option for you that you can purchase it and have it in your stateroom. And for coffee lovers out there, you go down to the coffee shop, you talk to one of the cast members there, and they will give you a coffee card. What this coffee card is, is each time you get a coffee, they punch it out, they stamp it, they mark it in some manner. And after you purchase five specialty coffees, you get the sixth coffee for free. So if you drink a lot of specialty coffee, it can save you a little bit of money, particularly on those longer voyages. Obviously on a three or four day voyage, you may not drink five coffees to get the sixth one for free, depending on how much you like coffee or how much you don't like coffee. But especially on longer voyages, you know, a seven day Disney voyage, you're a fan of specialty coffees. This is definitely worth going down and picking up. The coffee card is free. So getting a free coffee after five is still a good deal. It doesn't cost you anything up front. All right, so again, you have your beverages included at no extra charge. That is your soft drinks, your coffee, and your tea served during meals, non-alcoholic drinks from the beverage station, and soft drinks served at the Vibe Teens Only Club. Beverages that incur an additional charge are your alcoholic beverages, your smoothies, specialty coffees, and bottled water served during meals, beer, wine, cocktails, bottled water, and non-alcoholic beverages served in lounge areas. So if you have teenagers going to the Vibe Only Teens Club, their soft drinks are also included in the cruise fare, so you don't have to worry about them spending any extra money down there for a soft drink. And pretty much everything will occur a charge unless you get it let's say, at the locations such as the beverage serving station or during meals. If you're in a lounge enjoying a show, you're in the theater enjoying a show, you go up to one of the bars, try to get one of the included beverages, they are still going to charge you for it. And that is something to keep in mind. And again, why I say take a cup with you, you go by the beverage station before show, fill it up, go enjoy the show, doesn't cost you any extra money. And finally, any guests that do bring on the bottles of champagne or the bottles of wine on embarkation day or at one of the cruise ports. One thing to remember about that is if you want to have that in the dining room, you want to take it in there, enjoy it with your dinner. There is a corkage fee of $26 per bottle. No fee if you have it in your room, but if you try to take it into one of the main dining rooms, that is where they will charge you that corkage fee. And that's only for those that are brought on board the ship. If you have one of the wine packages, all of that is already included. And that's your drink options on board a Disney Cruise Line ship. Like I said, Disney does it a little bit different. They don't have the normal type 
drink packages. They do things their own way. They have their own style. And it kind of goes along with the same reason, you know, why they don't have casinos on board a ship. Disney just does Disney the Disney way. But I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, do me a favor and hit that like button. If you haven't done so yet, do me a favor and hit subscribe. It is free to do so. Helps our channel grow. Let you know anytime we put out a new video. Hope everyone out there is having a really great day. And like always, we will see you out on the high seas.